So I couldn't put the camera down. I'll show you guys a few more things while we're here. Okay, so I'm just gonna let the camera roll. POVs is personal vehicle, right? Oh. This is a huge base because we all we're still in base. We haven't left the base yet. O R M. What is that? Operations risk management. Oh, all these acronyms. Oh, look. Where are you going? Where are you going? Command here region, southeast. We have Vistar, which is a credit union. Navy Federal Credit Union, Vistar. Jacksonville Native know about that. Bank. Here's Jacksonville Native. What is that big building? It's a huge building. I don't know what that Commander, officer. Um, Yorktown Avenue. Look at that. I like the street sign. So it's kind of short. They're not really as tall as like the traditional street signs off the base. And they have, they're colored in blue. They have the U.S. Navy logo on them. I think maybe somebody lives in that building. Mm -hmm. Maybe works in that building. Oh, look at the airplanes. Navy airplanes. How cool is that? What is this? Main entrance. Looks like they're getting maintenance. Look like at the mechanic shop. I can see those apartments on the buildings. Like, why on the, the Navy base and living in the Navy base? It feels like you are like in your own little neighborhood, mini city almost. Who was that one? I think it's important also to be able to read signs too because if you go in an area that you're not supposed to go in, they may have like a uh, red flashing light coming behind you. <laughs> like, wait a minute, come on. You're not supposed to be going that way. Okay. I don't know what that is. It's like some maintenance building. Um, kind of looks fine, I think. Engineering division. It looks like this is where the planes and helicopters take off, and where they land. They land. Here we go. And all the time. We can't make it past that gate, obviously. Not in the car, anyway. That's so cute. Look at the plane. Can I see that? Looks like they're getting ready to take off. Go somewhere. And protect our country, keep us safe, keep us independent. U.S. citizens, thanks to the U.S. Navy. And thanks to the people who work for the U.S. Navy.
and the veteran who used to work for me. Mm -hmm. And it's like everybody here looks like they have a job to do. Everybody is working, doing something. But we're on vacation just having fun. <laughs> These people are at work. And most people you see, like, they look mean and bitter. Look at those planes, green planes. They look very bitter and kind of angry, agitated. Probably a little, uh, probably a little, uh, what do you call it? Fed up, I guess. Look a little fed up with having to, um, report to duty, having to do the same thing, everything that. Having to take orders, like two, like six orders. That person is in. The Navy uniform riding a motorcycle. How cool is that? Well, it's too hot. It's like 80 degrees outside right now. Guys, so. Today is March 10th, which is my cousin's birthday. And he's also a veteran. He's a veteran of the Army. And shout out to Marlon Toons. You guys can find him on Facebook. Marlon Toons. Don't let them know I sent you though, cause that's my big head cousin, and I don't want to have to kill him. But uh, what is that building? I wonder what that building. Is. Wait, do I see a McDonald's? Oh my gosh, they have a McDonald's. Really nice building, and you see the palm trees in Newark, Florida. And they have a McDonald's, like kind of sitting out here on its own, just finally sitting there. I think the good thing about being stationed at this one is that you're only two hours away from Orlando. Anybody knows anything about Orlando, Florida, you know that's home to Disney World, home to Universal Studios, and so many more other attractions that I can't name off the top of my head. It's been like years since I've been to Orlando. As you guys know, I've been in Atlanta the last three years, and I moved to New York last summer. Check out the apartment they have for people who don't have independence, who don't have dependents, but independence, and no dependents, just single adults, men and women. I actually want to go and look inside. That is Light Line Cafe. They look like they may have some good food. That's all. I actually wanted to go inside one of these, but I'm not going to harass anybody today. Maybe when I come back, come back, I'll harass somebody. Be like, let us in, come in the tour. But no, I'm not going to do that today. It's actually where I'm headed to. I'm going to go and have some time to spend at New York Studios before the, sun comes, before the sun goes down. It's been a long weekend for me. On everything. You guys can go back and look at my videos when I was on the plane. I actually did a few videos on my flight from New York to Jacksonville, Florida. Can I talk a little bit about those travels? You have some guys working with hard hats, construction workers. Construction site. They're building something here. And I think that's about it, you guys didn't see, well you guys didn't get a chance to see the commissary, too bad, and you didn't get a chance to see, it's called the next NEX building that I talked about earlier, but maybe on another video I'll, I'll let you guys see it, so that's it for now, see you guys later, bye bye.